All right, yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be going over the most efficient ways that you can grind candy for the new Halloween update. As you know, everything in here is super expensive, and since they're so expensive, we're gonna have to find a ways to efficiently get candy. Now, some are a lot harder than others, as you can see. 85 chocolate bars. I haven't spent a single chocolate bar, haven't sold, haven't... I've kind of bought, but I haven't sold or spent a single chocolate bar and 85 is all I've gotten. So chocolate is by far the hardest, but I'm gonna go over the fastest ways to get each of these candies. So candy corn, hard candy, lollipops, chocolate, each one will be covered with their best method. And then if there's a method that's kind of as good, I will also include that. But usually I think with just about every single candy, there's one method that is better than everything else, and you shouldn't even do those other methods anyway. So to start with the base, the the most common currency or candy, it's going to be the candy corn. Candy corn, I don't know, it drops from like every mob in the game. So the best places that I could see grinding, it's basically anywhere with a bunch of mobs that spawn really fast. So one location could be here in sewers. Basically just make your way down I don't know if you guys have are level 50 yet, but you're just going to make your way down to where all those pit, or not pit raddies, just all the rats spawn right here, and then just kill these. A bunch spawn right here, a bunch spawn over there. So as you can see, what, three candy corn just like that. So yeah, this place is really good. That guy's mad. But this place is really good. And then another good place, if you don't have pit, you can go just right down there, or if you already have pit, you can just go through Nilgarth, which is what I'm going to do. But yeah, the pit where I'm at now is a very good way. You can grind these pit ratties if you want to, if like you need an incisor or something, but in terms of candy corn, this isn't really that good. Where you really want to go is down here. As you can see, all these slimes that are spawning, you can just kill them as they spawn. They spawn really, really quickly. So basically just if I can get one, I guess this game doesn't like me. Also what you can do to try and speed this up, so like right now I'm not getting any and I'm just kind of spawn trapping. You can switch servers to so say 533, let's see if that's anything. Yeah, so just like that you can swap servers and now I've got, oh there's a fucking exploiter. But right there I got a candy corn. Who's the person exploiting? Okay, let's see if we can see who they are. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's this person right here. Yeah, it's definitely that person. Yeah. He's the only person in this lobby with that mask, so it's definitely this guy. Well, that's cool. This guy's a cheater. I'll probably just send this in to get him banned, to be honest. But yeah, the pit is a good spot. And then you can also head up here as well. They're all dead because of the fucking exploiter. Hold on, let me swap servers. But normally... Like you can see here, this spot or this spot will be full of just these regular slimes. So you can just come up here and one shot everything, and hopefully get a candy corn. But I'm gonna go kill that big slime, and then I'll go down to the next one. There's another exploiter. Oh my god! No, nah, it's actually so fucking cringe, bro. Yeah, you can see how that guy's hands moving really fast. That's auto farm. Now nah, you can see he's a noob. Like, sure, buddy. This guy's fucking clueless. Like you can see right there, he just auto farmed it. So that's two people uh, banned. Like I'm already recording. I might as well just report them. Like I got the footage. I didn't even have to try to get the footage. All right. So for lollipops, uh, you're just gonna make your way to Forsaken. It's like the only boss in the game that that drops lollipops. So I'll, I'll show you what you can do. If you guys saw my money making video, you're just gonna do the same thing to get the boss, or to get as many boss kills as you can. But I'll go ahead and show it again in this video because like a lot of you guys probably haven't seen it. So I'll show you again in this video. But you just make your way to Forsaken and we're just gonna basically kill Moko Tua. And then also these Moglos and Moglocos drop uh, chocolate, I think, and hard candy. 
So those won't be your main methods of making chocolate and hard candy, but while you're here, you can kill them. And they'll drop at some of the time. But yeah, if your Forsaken lobby doesn't have three totems, you're just going to server swap so you get three totems and then wait. If you want the hard candy and chocolate, you can participate in spawning Mokotua, which if you guys don't know, to spawn Mokotua, you got to kill things, kill Moglos and Moglocos. So you could help with that, but I mean, you really don't have to. You could also get candy corn out of it, but if you're just mainly farming lollipops, you're just going to get a three totem lobby like this and just wait. And then I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and cut to when, ac when it actually spawns. Okay, so Moko to a spawn. So I'm going to go ahead and kill him and see what you can ex or show you what you can expect for being max level and killing him. Alright, so it's dead. We're gonna see how many we got. As you can hear, you can hear a lot of dings. Some of those are probably gonna be some drops, like right there, Moko Mall. So I'm expecting around seven. Seven for that, maybe? There's also the best money making method, pretty much, so far. Five, six, seven. I think that's eight now, actually. Nine, okay. Ten, eleven. 12, 13, okay, so it's quite a bit better than I actually thought it was, so you might get maybe more, maybe less, that's 15, okay, yeah, so it is pretty good, I thought I was going to get about 10, but yeah, you might get more, you might get less, it kind of depends on just like how much damage you do and stuff, but this is the best way to get lollipops if you're not getting more than like five from this and you're waiting for boss spawns a lot you need to like make sure you're hitting your your hits like actually dealing damage and you also need to make sure that like you're level 50 because this is really a, a level 50 one if you're here at a low level you're only gonna get like four or five lollipops but when you're level 50 like me you will get six seven eight plus and that makes this the best best method to actually get the lollipops. The other best method, I, I mean, there isn't really one. There's like, I guess, Sting Tails drop it. I can't check my bounty book, but really, you should just be doing this method. It's, without a doubt, the easiest one. Okay, so I'm back at Nilgarf. So the best way, or what's next is going to be chocolate. The best way to get chocolate is unfortunately like Mokotua with lollipops and eventually the boss with hard candy. There isn't a boss that drops the can like that candy. There's no boss that drops chocolate except for Yeti. And let me just make, okay, it's 6.30. I'm not gonna have a clip for Yeti, but if you kill Yeti, you can expect about five chocolate it's really not that good but you do want to go ahead and kill that every hour the place that you'll be grinding for chocolate though is going to be i believe let me check bounty book real quick okay it's going to be either dust worms or slimes so in pit if i go ahead and go to pit of course pit's bugged for some reason large slime or big slimes are bugged so they they actually drop lollipops but if you farm down there the medium they're like the regular slime slimes we'll drop them and up here these are all just regular slimes so yep right there chocolate bar you can just go ahead and kill every single one here the pits also good if you need money you can sell the drops they don't sell for too much but they're all right so what you could do is you could kill these like so there's none here and then you could go down here kill those and then once you come back up here they should all pretty much be spawned back like there's already two spawn back now three like they spawn back really really fast and then a couple spawns down here actually have regular slimes like right there I think that guy killed a regular slime there's a regular slime right there and then all these mobs like since this is another or one of the really good candy corn grinding spots 
you have really good chances of getting candy corn. It's like, let's just see. I wasn't down there for that long at all. I killed like 10 slimes down there, and then there's already like five more up here. And these all have a 1.33% chance to drop lo or drop chocolate. So these, bas it's basically like 1 in 70-ish when you're killing these guys. So it's not the best, but it's alright. It's the best way to get chocolate. So There's also a dust worm spawn that if I can find, I'll show. But I don't think, just from memory, that dust worm spawn that much. So I'll go check it out. The next one is going to be hard candy. And hard candy is by far the easiest one to get. It's going to be in dunes again. And you're just going to want to come to the anvil. There's also another spawn um, like over there. Kind of. And I'll show that too. But for now, the one at anvil is the best one. Well, I mean, they're both, they're both the same, but I, I have more luck here, and you kind of really don't want to run between the two, because Anvil is so weird to get up to, but right here, a Scarab will spawn, and there's not one here, so you can just switch servers until you find one that spawns, and basically, I just sit here and spam switch servers until I find one, and we'll see if this one has one. Okay. It does not, but I will have a clip playing now. Okay, and now, this guy's. Oh, it's the same dude from earlier. Jesus fucking Christ, bro. Okay. What does he want? Anyway, if you come from, like, right here, and just jump off, and run this way, kind of stay to the right of this bandit camp, And then once you see the, the town, just kind of stay to the right of that. And then right here, kind of where this grass is, a scarab will spawn as well. So this is the second scarab spawn location. And I'll try and like switch servers one more time to see if I can get it. No, but you can see someone's here. So yeah, this is the location... The, those are both the locations. Scarabs drop like 32 hard candy if you kill it by yourself. And then if you have a couple people killing it or like another person killing it with you. If you do enough damage you can get like 20 to 25. But you'll almost always get more than like 12. Almost guaranteed pretty much. So yeah. Like I mean you can even see my inventory. 99, 99, 99, 82. And I've probably... I've bought one scythe and I probably sold like five or six stacks. Traded trade slash sold five or six stacks. So it's really, really easy to get hard candy. One hundred percent. Probably the easiest it, it is the easiest candy to get. So yeah, that's all the candy. So yeah, that's all of the can that's all the candy. That's basically it. If you guys did enjoy this video and it helped you, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. Good luck grinding for these. The armor's coming out soon, so we'll need even more to get the armor. That's why I'm holding off on buying the uh, Vampiric Dagger. I haven't bought one yet, but I have enough for it. I'm just holding off on buying, except with the hard candy, since hard candy's so easy to get. But yeah. I look forward to the new Halloween updates. I'll cover anything else that comes out. You know, I already promised to do that, so I'm going to do it. And this is actually going to come before the roadmap explanation or cover video. So, when you watch, if you if you watch that, it's not going to make any sense when I say 
or when I mentioned this kind of video because I already recorded that and I'm not going to go back and change it. But I also said I I decided to end up pushing the showcase video back because we're getting new gear and like either next update or an update after that. So I just want to wait until everything's in the game to do a one big final showcase towards the end of the event. And um yeah. That's going to be it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.